Blockchains are the future. And in this video, we are going to be looking at one of the founders of Definity and the internet computer, Dominic Williams, actually talking and comprehensively putting across why this is the case. Ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in for what is going to be an absolutely epic video as we are going to be looking at Dominic Williams explaining what blockchain singularity is and how he believes ICP is at the forefront of it. I've said for a very long time that blockchains are going to be the underlying systems that help tomorrow's world operate. And Dominic Williams is definitely on board with that. So we're going to do a number of things in this video. It's absolutely not one to miss. We're going to be starting off from a tweet from Dominic Williams himself, talking about three things. He's talking about the true nature of blockchain. He's talking about the provision of near magical powers that they offer. And we're going to be focusing on the third one, which is the meaning of blockchain singularity. And the reason we're only focusing on the third one is because I don't want to put everybody to sleep. You can see just how long this tweet is, but we are going to be picking um, the third one out and we're going to be reading it because it really kind of drills home, I think, why it is these blockchains are today valuable and certainly the prospect of what they're going to uh, do tomorrow is even more valuable. So we're going to be doing that to start the video off. Um, and then we're going to be talking about our internet computer price prediction. Lots of people asking me about this, lots of people asking me for an update. I'm going to be showing you that ICP is still on a very healthy journey, and I do believe it's destined for more upside. But that is, of course, my own opinion, not financial advice. I'm going to be showing you a number of examples of other charts that did a very similar thing. We'll be putting them next to the internet computer. We'll also be looking at the total cryptocurrency market cap, excluding Bitcoin, the altcoin market, which ICP is a part of and explaining why the internet computer is going to gain ground uh, in relation to the rest of the market, certainly Bitcoin, Ethereum, and in terms of dominance. So it's overall percent of the cryptocurrency space. So without further ado, let's scroll down and go to the meaning of blockchain singularity, because I think this very well explains why this stuff is valuable. If we think about the internet, really blockchains are a immutable form of this and a lot of what you have running on the internet will transition over to the blockchain space uh, and of course we are currently limited with restrictions like security scalability you know efficiency costs at the moment but these are things that are being broken down by these third generation blockchains which of course icp claims to be so let's get into it guys so the meaning of blockchain singularity the global cost of cyber crimes is predicted to exceed 10 trillion dollars in 2025 which will be 35 percent of gdp of the united states Cybersecurity is becoming a major problem of our time like war and climate change and is just one of the key problems that stateful decentralized networks in their many manifestations can solve i.e blockchain Yet few have zoomed out. This is particular because of widespread misconceptions that blockchain networks have fundamental technical limitations, partly by widespread occupation with speculative instruments like NFTs and meme coins within the industry, and partly the difficulty of seeing that pervasive and prevailing challenges like cybersecurity might be solved. However, as speed, scalability, efficiency, and other limitations are rolled back, stateful decentralized networks will increasingly provide a superior form of an alternative tech stack. Instead of building systems and services using server computers, clouds, virtualization, orchestration, software, data servers, application servers, web servers, firewalls, anti-malware, and all the rest, humanity will build systems and services that are secured by default, which never get corrupted, which never stop running and need restarting. And in the world of Web3, we will build things like autonomous social networks that run under the control of DAOs that provide transparency and deliver 100% ownership and full sovereign control to internet communities. Stateful decentralized networks, i.e. blockchains, will function as unstoppable, a decentralized and secure serverless clouds where anything can be built in forms that are are vastly more secure and resilient. These clouds will also finally provide a route out of the complexity of the current IT stack. 
This is also important because the world currently spends $2 trillion a year on IT personnel who now spend 95% of their time just chasing complexity. Meanwhile, it's clear that an Ethereum smart contract, say, exists within a highly simplified, seamless environment and, for example, persists its data without the need for things like data servers. Blockchains will become a stack that drives incredible IT personnel productivity through simplification. Third generation blockchains taste these immense opportunities. It's a new paradigm that sees blockchain as humanity's new IT stack upon which any system or service can be built with immense advantages. In the future, third generation blockchains will provide unimaginable advances in IT, solving for key problems of our time, such as security, resilience and IT productivity, which many incorrectly assume are intractable. As I have shown in a recent video demonstration, you can run AI models as smart contracts on the internet computer today, having them do tamper-proof and unstoppable inferences. Third generation blockchains will therefore play a key role even in new eras of tech. In the future, AI models run by organizations will have access to their most sensitive data and running them on blockchains can solve the risks that they get hacked. We will also come to become heavily dependent on AI in numerous ways. And therefore it's imperative that AI models have massive resilience against infrastructure failures, which blockchains can solve again. Plus, in the realm of Web3, oftentimes it will be essential that AI runs autonomously, which only blockchains can enable. For example, imagine an AI that verifies the Solidity code of Ethereum smart contracts and certifies them. It's essential users will know that certifications come from the AI, not from some person, organization or other intermediaries that they have to trust. At Definity, a large and imminent team of cryptographers, computer scientists, researchers, and engineers has been pursuing the third generation blockchain paradigm for years and continue to make rapid advances. Even though the internet computer network you see today already represents more than a thousand person years of R&D, we plan to continue this effort forever. We understand that blockchain is a stateful decentralized network that magical powers with this essence unlocks and why that makes blockchain the future of compute. As the technology advances, third generation blockchain is reinventing compute in real time. Web3 social network, social media and gaming are already running on the internet computer end to end without the help of current traditional IT, such as server, computers, cloud services, and traditional platform software like databases and Web3 servers. These services already host many thousands of users showing how third generation blockchain networks can scale and many of the services keep tokens inside yet run hack free without any traditional cybersecurity protections at all speaking to the security revolution underway while running autonomously under the full control of a DAO community third generation blockchain is decentralized cloud that hosts tamper proof unstoppable and optional autonomous systems and services with additional functionality that allows hosted service to serve web experiences directly to users. Its performance, scalable and efficient and rapid improvements continue on all key axes. I'm proud to say that this revolution in compute began within blockchain crypto industry, and it's one of the many gifts it has given the world. However, third generation technology will now quickly spread to enterprises and government IT sectors where system security and resilience and the productivity of IT personnel are of crucial concern. The utopia, unstoppable, tamper-proof, open platform for independence autonomy ventures will make ICP technology available for enterprise and government that cannot build on a public network because they to control which peer nodes process their data, allowing them to create the internet computer equivalent of intranets which nonetheless interoperate with the public internet. 
our purpose at Definity and other third generation networks when they start to appear is to reinvent compute itself. Our purpose is to get the vast majority of humanity's systems and servers running on blockchain. The scope and importance of this endeavor is similar to that of AI, which field will also benefit enormously from the reinventation of compute. So I'm going to leave it there. There is only a little bit more to cover, but I think that really highlights, and I'm sorry you guys had to listen to me reading for the, for the past uh, couple of minutes, but it is really important to kind of get that across. Everything is going to run on a blockchain and the internet computer is positioning itself to capitalize, I think, quite largely off of that. As promised, guys, let's talk a little bit about price before we wrap the video up. Bit of a longer one, but I really wanted to spend the time covering that. Um, so you guys will know the price prediction that we gave for the internet computer. It's still very much following that. It's having a correction, but I do think it's going to pick its feet up right around that 30 weekly moving average, which is very common. So we've established a few things with the internet computer from a price point of view. One, that it has bottomed. We identify a base for a chart as a stage one. The break of that stage one into stage two, which is an uptrend, occurred on volume at this point here. And since then, you've just been consolidating, which is very, very common. If we pull uh, a cryptocurrency that I did very well off of in the last cycle, Cardano, we've got a 30 week moving average on. You can see the similarities here in regards to the lower lows. Marginally lower lows, divergence is present, a big initial breakout. Then you get a period of consolidation here and you come back towards that 30 week moving average and then you start the vast majority of the bull market. So we do still have price predictions for the internet computer. It didn't quite get hit. We got very close. Remember, we gave these price predictions pre-break of this base. We've still got that $24 and around about 70, 50 cents uh, price prediction. So $24 and 43 cents to be exact. Then if it gets there, has a little pullback, you could see the further scope for potentially a $200 ICP price. Looks very similar to what Injective did down here. You can see what we're looking at. Also what Cardano did, a bit more of a zoomed in view of Cardano. And we ultimately think the total cryptocurrency market, excluding Bitcoin, is heading to around about $3.7 trillion. And I believe the internet computer is going to gain market share in regards to dominance of the overall crypto space. It's currently at 0.25% of the overall market. I think it's heading around about to the 1.2%, which would be a 371% increase in terms of market share. I also think it's going to gain ground against Bitcoin and it looks pretty damn good against Ethereum. So I really wanted to just give a quick update on the internet computer, very much still following the roadmap that we set out for it. Our price prediction in the short term is $24.40. For this bull market, we could be looking at a $200 ICP price. Do not take that as financial advice, just technically what I could see merit for at the moment. And I think it's going to do quite well in relation to the rest of the cryptocurrency market. There will be outperformers, there will be underperformers, um, but I think it's going to do rather well. And I think a bounce is coming in the near term for um, ICP. So that is really it from me, ladies and gentlemen. On that note, I am going to love and leave you. I hope you didn't mind the reading at the start. I thought it was really important because it kind of zooms out on what's actually happening here with blockchain and how Definity is uh, tackling it. And of course, Dominic Williams, I think, is someone that understands this space better than most. On that note, I'm going to love and leave you. Thanks a lot for watching. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. See you soon.